what's up guys it's osiris welcome to a brand new video i hope you guys are doing well today we're going to be taking a look at the kilohertz transient shaper and i just thought i should show you guys some cool things you can do with this and i know we've talked about transient shapers in the past we've looked at transient using transient shapers for controlling the noise in an audio recording and we've just taken a look at some free transient shapers but i just got this one from plugin boutique and it has some really cool features i thought i should share with you guys so yeah let's get right into this um transient shapers are dynamic processing plugins you can use to control transients in a sample in a sound sample so transients are just the waveform at the start of an audio sample like you have here and something like this so those are transients and in an audio sample, you have the start of the sample, you have the body, and you have the tail. So that's how I like to classify the parts of an audio sample. And what's really cool about kilohertz transient shaper is that you can use the attack to control the start of the sample. You can use the pump knob to control the body, and you can use the sustain to control the tail of the sample. And you have really nice visuals here to just check out what you're doing with controlling these transients. So let's... Um, play around with this with this drum track i'm going to play this now let me turn this up and you can see as this lightens up and if i um turn on this clip it just limits the output to zero db so it won't go higher than zero db so if i turn the attack if i turn the attack up and make the start of the sample sharper and snappy so you can hear how we amplify the volume of just not the whole sound but the start of the sample and i can bring the body of the sample down by turning this pump down and at the same time i can increase the tail of the sample so you see how we as we have so much control over each sample or like a compressor where we just control the whole sample but with the transient shaper you can control the parts of each sample so those are the options you have with a transient shaper you can use the speed to um change how fast or how slow these knobs react so let's tr try this out again so i'm just going to leave the sustain at the high points So you can see how the speed affects the shaping of the transients also. So with a slower speed, we have a louder transient. And with a fast speed, we have the, the sounds are still snappy, but it's kind of soft. So those are the um, basic knobs you have with the kilohertz transient shaper. And the interesting thing you have here is the pump. So the, the fact that you have the ability to control the body of the sample is a very interesting addition to a transient shaper. So that's one of the reasons I like this transient shaper. The sound, the output is also very smooth. You don't have the grit and grains you have when you process sounds with some um plugins so the processing with this is very very transparent and yeah let's take a look at this let's check this out on the roads we have here then you have some nice if you hit down this area you can choose some nice presets So you can see how we've completely changed the sound. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of using a transient shaper. Another thing um, we can use transient shaper for is controlling the noise in an audio recording. So I have this sample here. Let me turn this off. What's up, guys? It's Osiris. 
Then well, if I bring the sustain down, this should control the noise a little. What's up guys, it's Osiris. Welcome to a brand new video. It's been a while and so why this works is this will work on many audio recordings and it will work especially if the noise profile is very audible like maybe a constant noise like a generator or wind blowing this would work well because the noise profile in an audio recording is usually similar to the tail of a sample so you can just use the sustain to control um the noise profile and to act as if it's controlling the tail of each sample so because the noise comes at the end of each sample so that's the idea behind using a transient shaper to control the noise in an audio recording that's one of the cool things you can do with transient shapers the other interesting thing you can do with the kilohertz transient shaper is sidechain and in plugins plug and plugins that have a sidechain feature just opens up lots of creative things you can do with the plugin so um let's try something out here i'm going to let's delete this first from the master i'm going to put kilohertz transient chip on the drums and i'll sidechain the roads to the drums so i've sidechained the roads to the drums and i'll turn on the side in here come over to the gear icon then the other gear icon then processing then turn on the sidechain so what we are doing now is collecting signal from the keys to the drums and it's the signal from the keys that is controlling the transient shaper on the drums not the drums itself so that's very interesting so anytime the keys play this light is up guys it's osiris then we can do something like making the kick or the snare go down anytime the keys play so we can just reduce the attack on this and have something like this Yeah, and that's just one of the things you can do with this sidechain option. So just think of um, controlling the transients of reverbs and controlling the transients of your vocals with the sends in your reverbs from another vocal. So the possibilities are endless with this. And that's why this is very exciting. I've been playing around with this and I just thought I should show you guys some things you can do with a transient shaper. And yeah, guys, that will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is a very interesting tool, and it's the tr only transient shaper I've seen with the pump option where you can control the body of the transient and with a sidechain option. So that's what makes the kilohertz transient shaper really interesting. Um, so you can get this from the link in the description below and just play around with this and let me know what you guys think about this. If you have any questions about this leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you learned anything new from this make sure you like the video i'll leave a link to the noise reduction video with transient shapers in the description so you can check that out and you can purchase this from the link in the description and yeah that'll be all for today guys i'll see you in the next video